I hear familiar footfalls. Come closer, Vestige. Welcome to the Harborage, Vestige. This is as comfortable a home as an old dried-up husk like myself could hope for. Despite my blindness, nay, because of it, my other senses seem to have heightened. Indeed, but let us not get ahead of ourselves. Without an understanding of where we are bound, every road will get us nowhere. Before we truly understand our destination, we must speak of the past, of a sort. I invite you to enter my mind and walk with me through visions of the past that you might understand the events that brought us to this time, this moment. Enter my mind, Vestige, and walk with me through the shadows of past events. Follow me, Vestige, and learn of the events that precipitated our current crisis. My part of the story began when I awoke on the steps of the Abbey of the Moth Priests, with no memory of my prior life. The Moth Priests took pity upon me and brought me into their fold. I was weak and near death. It was there I first set eyes upon the Elder Scrolls and devoted my life to their study. The scrolls allowed me to glimpse the very fabric of reality, but each profound insight dimmed my vision and eventually left me permanently blinded to the light of the world. The prophecies of the Elder Scrolls are a fluid living thing, they are not fixed. At many points throughout history, the actions of heroic mortals have rewritten them. I only know that you are important, Vestige. The Scrolls reveal to me that your destiny is intertwined with that of the Five Companions. The Five Companions were a band of adventurers who sought out an ancient artifact called the Amulet of Kings. They hoped to use this artifact to persuade Akatosh, the Dragon God, to accept their leader as one of the Dragonborn. Baron Aquilarius, the son of Colobian Duke, who led a rebellion against the Emperor Leovic and took the crown himself. Alas, Varon was not truly a Dragonborn, as those who sit upon the ruby throne must be, in accordance with tradition. You have already heard enough babbling from this old blind fool. It is time you met the five companions yourself and witnessed their fate. The first companion, Lyris Titanborn, daughter of giants, was the mightiest warrior in the service of the Emperor. Next, Abnathan, a powerful sorcerer, 
and Grand Chancellor to the Imperial Elder Council. The Red Guard Swordmaster, Sai Sahan, leader of the Imperial Dragon Guard. The Imperial Emperor, Baron Aquilarius, who attempted to light the dragon fires and failed. And finally, Manamarco, the traitor, the king of worlds, a powerful necromancer, and your executioner. These were the five companions who set out from the Imperial City on an epic quest to recover the lost amulet of kings. Many Marco convinced Varen that the amulet could be used to perform a ritual that would rekindle the dragonfires. He claimed this would please Akatosh and entice him to adopt Varen as one of the dragonborn. By tradition, only the dragonborn can lay claim to the ruby throne and rule as the one true emperor by divine right. Varen conquered Cyrodiil and took the throne, but unless he became dragonborn, he feared he'd always be thought of as a pretender. Manamarco the traitor, the great enemy, the most powerful necromancer this world has ever known. His worm cult infiltrates and corrupts every corner of Tamriel. It was disaster, war, and pestilence. A world brought to its knees. Now watch and see how one man's arrogance brought about the greatest threat our world has ever known. There it is. The dragon fire brazier. Manimarko. Certain this will work? It will work, my liege. The Amulet of Kings will rekindle the dragon fires and ensure your rightful place as Emperor. You have my word. It better work, Money Marco, or you'll find your neck at the business end of my axe. My lord, I wonder if you'd muzzle your half giant pet. She really is annoying. Enough, both of you. We are here to ensure my lord's rightful claim to the Ruby Throne. Abner. Begin the ritual. I have a destiny to fulfill. By the lighting of the dragon fires, I claim my rightful lineage. By the fires of creation, let me be reborn. By the will of Akatosh, I proclaim myself dragonborn. You will pay for your sacrilege! The veil between Tamriel and Oblivion tears and splits asunder! What's happening? The sky's opening up! This is bad! This is very bad! Ritual tore the veil between Nairn and Oblivion, allowing Manamarco to begin stealing the souls his master needed to power the Dark Anchors and initiate the Plane Men. Akatosh gave Alessia the Amulet of Kings as a symbol of his covenant with Nairn. So long as the amulet remained in the care of Alessia's heirs and the dragon fires remained lit, Tamriel would be protected from the Daedra. Manamarco tricked Varen into breaking the covenant and the veil between Oblivion and Nern was torn. The Elder Scrolls named this event the Soul Burst. It gave Molog Val the opportunity to disconnect the souls of Nern from their hosts. Varen was lost. In the chaos of the moment, Sai Sahan took the Amulet of Kings and fled. Leris was captured by Manamarco and delivered to Cold Harbor, the realm of Molog Val. Thaun remains Chancellor of the Elder Council, and his daughter Clivio rules as Empress Regent. But the true power remains in the hands of Manimarco and his worm cult. 
When I discovered the truth about the five companions, I made subtle inquiries, but apparently not subtle enough. Manamaka got word of my interest and abducted me. He took me to Cold Harbor, where I remained a prisoner until you freed me. The truth is always a threat to evil men. Manamako feared I would reveal his treachery, and if knowledge of Nan's vulnerability were to become known, it could threaten his master's schemes. Molog Baal does not favor loose ends. Walk with me. Long ago it was written, so long as the amulet of kings was borne by Alessia's heirs, Tamriel would be protected from the forces of oblivion. But the soul burst tore the veil between worlds and gave Molog Baal the opportunity he desired. Molog Baal's dark anchors pierced the tall veil and seek to draw Nairn into the depths of Cold Harbor. These terrible engines of destruction have been appearing all throughout Tamriel. survive the ordeal, and those that do will be enslaved for all eternity. And so it falls to us, Vistage. We must stop Molog Baal and his dark anchors, or our world is doomed. And now history seems to have caught up with us. Shall we return to the harborage? As you say. And so it begins. The remainder of the story has yet to be written. It is your story now. And there is so much to do. But know this. You will not walk this path alone. We must grow in strength and in numbers. You will need more than the company of an old blind man to alter the course of history. We must assemble our own group of companions. The first you have already met. Lyris sacrificed her own freedom to allow us to escape. She remains a prisoner in Cold Harbor. I must determine her precise location if we are to mount a rescue. That will take time. Minamako's agents leave a web of lies and deceit. They pit the races of Tamriel against one another and divert their attention from the real threat. Seek out these agents, wherever they can be found, and expose their lies. Forgive me. Bringing you to my mind seems to have taken quite a toll on me. I must rest. I will contact you when the time is right. Until then, walk in the light, Mr. Jones.